Hey, hello everybody. It's Friday and here is your literacy lesson. So you know the drill. Um, now we walk through the top sheet, don't we? So we are writing a story about going on a journey for all of the children in Key Stage 1. And the context is to help us to appreciate a little bit more about what we've got in our lives. We're going to be using capital letters, finger spaces, full stops, exclamation marks, some conjunctions, thus and so are in the story. We're going to find apostrophes for possession and apostrophes for omission. Right, let's move on. So, as normal, here's our spelling page. So, I've got um, four words from the story. Bedtime, duvet, evening and worry. And you can have a go at doing them as pyramid writing, um, putting them into alphabetical order, the ABC order. You could do rainbow words or you could, if you wanted to, um, practice writing a silly sentence with them. So pause here and have a go at practicing your spellings. Okay, how did you get on? So um, here's our grammar points for today. I just thought we'd go over the fact that we've got different types of sentences, just to kind of jog your memories on that a little bit. So there are statements, just tells you something, something matter of fact, a command, they've got bossy verbs in, teachers quite often give commands. Um, they tell you to do something. A question. Now you've got a good clue if it's a question because you'll notice the question mark at the end of the sentence and exclamations. And they tend to be things for like um, short things like help. And you'll notice an exclamation mark at the end of them. So I've got four sentences here and you can pause the video um, here now and have a look at um, the sentences, read them to yourselves and work out what type of sentence they are. And then I'm going to go through it with you. OK, how did you get on? So let's read the first sentence. He decides that it's time to move on. OK, so what do you notice at the end of that um, sentence? We've got an exclamation mark, haven't we? Mm, what type of sentence could that be? He decides that it is time to move on. Mm, what do you think? Mm, let's have a look at the others and then we'll come back to it. Run and hide. <gasps> what type of sentence have we got there? That's a command. It's telling you to go and do something. Senny hates getting wet. That's a statement. Just tells you something that Senny does not enjoy. What have you been? Oh, that doesn't make sense, does it? Not what have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been, Sunny? What do you notice at the end of that? You've got a question mark, so that's a question. He decides that it's time to move on. You've got our exclamation mark at the end, so it's an exclamation. Okay, well done. I hope you got those right. I'm just going to put these back up at the top for everybody. Okay, let's move on to the next page. Oh, we've got another postcard. So it says, to Sunny's friends at St. Mary's School, Church Road 8, BS 375BG, that's the school um, postcode. Um, Dear Sunny's friends, this is Sunny's mum and dad. We are writing because we are worried about Sunny. He told us he arrived in Yates late last night, but we haven't heard from him since. Have you seen him? If not, will you help us to find him? from Sonny's mum and dad and the rest of his worried family. Do you think we can help them? I think they might need us to do some jobs for them. Okay, so today we are going to help Sonny's parents by creating a missing poster for him that we can put around Yates so that we can help find Sonny. So uh, we're gonna have a little look at a video again. Um, just so that we can get some adjectives to describe um, a meerkat's appearance. So the appearance is the way that someone or something looks. So you just need to bear with me whilst I open um, the uh, video. And about meerkats. Probably not their interest in sunsets, like this one in the Kalahari Desert in Southern Africa. Lots of animals, even humans, would love a sunset like this. It might be the markings under their eyes. Did you know those dark markings act like sunglasses, allowing the meerkats to see in the harsh desert light? 
Here's another interesting fact. Since meerkats are perfect snack size for predators like eagles and jackals, one meerkat and sometimes more always stand guard for the mob. A mob of meerkats, that's actually the name used by naturalists, is a meerkat social group from 5 to 30 members. Here the mob gathers to observe the deadly puff adder. But by the way, meerkats are fiercely territorial and will fight to defend their turf from snakes or other meerkat mobs. Speaking of territorial, once they staked out a territory, they use their four-digit claws to dig burrows and tunnels where they'll sleep after a hard day of hunting. Meerkats grow to a length of 12 inches, weigh about two pounds, and are members of the mongoose family. They like to wrestle. This habit begins at an early age. Interesting, but the most interesting fact about meerkats is what they love to eat. These cute little critters love to eat scorpions. They're immune to the venom. First, the meerkat bites off the stinger. Good move. And then it's time to tie on the feed bag. If scorpions aren't available, meerkats will also dine on anything they can overpower. Beetles, spiders, even lizards and small rodents. But for a meerkat, nothing beats the crunchy goodness of a freshly killed scorpion. And who can argue? Although, well, a little ketchup might help. I think I'm quite glad that I'm not going to meerkats for tea. I'm not so sure that I could eat a scorpion. <clears throat> even if it did have its venomous tail removed. Okay, so what did we learn about a meerkat's appearance from that video? Mm. So they had long, thin tails for definite, didn't they, that were sticking up. They had dark black circles around their eyes. If you remember, the commentator said that those um, act a bit like um, sunglasses. It's how they are, um, how they can manage with the strong sunlight. They reflect the sun back. They have coarse, oh, I can't spell, sorry. They have coarse um, brown fur. They also um, have quite sharp um, claws and they'll have sharp pointy teeth as well. There's our ENPs to describe the meerkat's appearance. Okay, let's move on to, um, to this bit. So we can just put some of those around the outside again, just like we did um, when we were doing the roll on the wall. So we can um, keep them here so we can say long, thin, tail. We can say strong, powerful, I can't need a bit more space, strong, powerful, hind legs. So that means they're back legs because they're stood up tall, aren't they? Um, and we could also say about the um, dark black circles around eyes. Okay. Just a few suggestions. Okay, now think about Sunny's personality on the inside. What is Sunny like? Well, there are lots of words that we can use to describe Sunny. I think he's quite cheeky. I think he gets restless because he wants to go on an adventure, doesn't he? He's inquisitive. He, what else is he like? He's adventurous. What else is Sunny like? He is quite friendly because he goes to stay with a lot of different people. He's quite brave as well because he goes off on his own. Um, I wonder what other words you can come up with to describe his personality. We've done lots of work on this over the last couple of weeks. So it's really good for you to use some of the work that you've done earlier on in this unit. 
Okay, so this is what you are all going to do today. Let me move myself out of the way. Now, the success criteria and the tasks are over here at the side, so I hope that you can see them clearly and I'm going to explain them for you. So silver is to use EMP, so it's an adjective and a noun, to describe Sunny. We're going to be filling in our missing poster. You're going to describe Sunny's appearance, so what he looks like and his personality. Gold, I'd like you to extend that and include a range of conjunctions. So I've written some of them for you, and, but, so, because, if, and when. And then platinum, I'd like you to end your description with a question asking for help. So I've got a model here for you so that you can see. This is my example. I definitely don't want you to copy this, but you can use this as inspiration to help you to then write your own. So I'll read this through and then I'll cover it over and then you can write your own. So it goes like this. Sunny is an adventurous meerkat. He has coarse brown fur and a long tail. When he left home, he was carrying his old brown leather suitcase. Oh, I haven't spelled suitcase properly. Let's change that. Dear me. Um, Sunny is very friendly, so he will chat to anyone. Can you help find him? If you do, his favourite food is fried scorpions. OK, let's just look through and see if we've included our success criteria. Have we got EMPs? Have we done his appearance and his personality? So his personality is here when we're saying he's adventurous. Here's an EMP, coarse brown fur and long tail. And that's describing his um, appearance, isn't it? So we've done that. We've done his personality. Uh, conjunctions. Have we got any conjunctions? Let's have a look. When he left home, he was carrying his old brown leather suitcase. That's another EMP. Sunny is very friendly, so he will chat to anyone. Can you help find him? That's asking for a question. That's the final part there. And then we've got another um, conjunction of if you do, his favourite food is fried scorpions. He's bound to be really angry. He's been on such a huge adventure, hasn't he? OK, so I am just going to cover over my little example for you here so that it's not on the board and clear my annotations and then you can have a go you can pause on this slide and have a go at completing your missing posters we are very much looking forward to seeing them on dojo do take care and let's hope we can help find sunny otherwise his poor parents are going to be so upset take care bye